Hello and welcome to our channel, Learning Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about antibody diversity and how it helps the immune system recognize and neutralize different pathogens. Virtually all microbes can trigger an antibody response. Successful recognition and eradication of many different types of microbes require diversity among antibodies. Antibody diversity refers to the ability of the immune system to produce a wide range of antibodies that are specifically tailored to recognize and neutralize a broad spectrum of pathogens, including viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites. There are two primary mechanisms that contribute to antibody diversity, genetic recombination and somatic mutation. Genetic recombination, VDJ, variable, diverse and joining region recombination, is shuffling of genetic material between two different genes, creating a new gene with a unique combination of exons. This shuffling occurs during the development of B lymphocytes. The process generates diversity by producing new antibody genes that are different from those present in the individual's genome. Somatic mutation refers to the accumulation of mutations in the antibody genes during the lifetime of an individual. The gene encoding the variable domain of the H and L chains undergo high rate of point mutation. These mutations can result in changes to the amino acid sequence of the antibody, which can alter its specificity and affinity for a particular antigen. The accumulation of somatic mutations during the course of an individual's lifetime is a key factor in the development of the immune response to a pathogen. As it allows the immune system to continually adapt and improve its ability to recognize and neutralize the pathogen. The combination of genetic recombination and somatic mutation results in a vast repertoire of unique antibody molecules, each with its own specific recognition properties. This diversity allows the immune system to respond effectively to a wide range of pathogens and to continually adapt and improve its response over time. Germline gene organization of light chain genes. Each kappa and lambda light chain polypeptide consists of two major domains, a variable region, VL, and a constant region, CL. VL is coded by two separate gene segments. Variable, V, segment codes for amino terminal residues. Small joining, J, segment codes for about 13 residues at carboxy terminal end of variable region. Kappa light chain gene or kappa locus is found on chromosome 2, which has about 40 genes coding for variable region, each along with its leader sequences. About 1 to 5 genes coding for joining region, and a constant region gene. Lambda light chain gene or lambda locus is found on chromosome 22, which has about 30 gene coding for variable region, each along with its leader sequences and about 7 genes coding for joining region, each along with light chain constant region genes. VJ rearrangement in kappa chain synthesis. Early cell in the B cell lineage rearranges kappa gene segments in following order from 5 to 3 end. Leader sequence, intron, VJ gene segment, intron, and constant region. After rearrangement, it makes a primary RNA transcript. The transcript is then spliced to remove all intervening non-coding sequences, bringing VK, JK and CK together in a mature mRNA. The mRNA is translated in kappa polypeptide chain. Leader sequence is cleaved off. Expression of kappa light chain. In lumen of endoplasmic reticulum, it joins with newly synthesized heavy chain to form an immunoglobulin molecule. Germline gene organization of the heavy chain genes. Heavy chain is constructed from three gene segments. VH, variable, DH, diversity, and JH, joining, gene segments. Heavy chain gene locus is present on chromosome 14, which has about 50 genes coding for variable region, each along with its leader sequences. About 20 genes coding for diversity. About 1 to 6 genes coding for joining region and there are multiple genes coding for the CH region of heavy chain, 
one for each class and subclass of antibody. DDJ rearrangement in heavy chain DNA. First, one D gene is brought close to one J gene segment. Then, one V gene segment is brought next to DJ unit. Rearranged heavy chain genes consists following sequences 5 liter sequence, intron, VDJ segment, intron, and series of C region gene segment. Rearranged DNA is then transcribed. Primary transcript is spliced through alternate splicing. After splicing, it is followed by expression of secreted and membrane bound forms of heavy chain. VDJ recombination, encoding V region, is catalyzed by a set of enzymes, which are also involved in DNA repair function. And is directed to appropriate sites on Ig, immunoglobulin gene by recognition of specific DNA sequences motifs called recombination signal sequences, RSSS. Two protein, encoded by closely linked genes are necessary for recombination. RAG1, recombination activating gene 1, it is predominant recombinase. RAG2, recombination activating gene 2 RAG1 forms complex with RSS, recombination signal sequences, that is stabilized by binding of RAG2. Generation of antibody diversity. This diversity is generated through a combination of genetic mechanisms that ensure that each individual has the potential to produce a unique set of antibodies. One combinatorial VDH joining. Random association of any V gene segment with any J gene segment to form L chain variable region. V can associate with any D or J gene segments in H chain gene rearrangement. These can be combined with one another to provide extensive combinatorial diversity. Two junctional diversification. Random loss and gain of nucleotides at joining sites is called junctional diversification. And it enormously increases the diversity of V region coding sequences created by recombination. 3. Somatic hypermutation. The variable, V, region of germline DNA are susceptible to a high rate of somatic hypermutation during B cell development in response to an antigen challenge. These mutations allow B cell clones to produce antibodies with somewhat different polypeptide sequences. The process of mutation correlates with increasing affinities of antibodies for a particular antigen that induced the response, and is known as affinity maturation. 4. Combinatorial joining of H and L chains. Any H chain may associate with any L chain. The combination of different H and L chain pairs to form a complete antibody molecule. We hope you found this video informative and learned something new. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.